Probing for many customers can be frustrating and difficult at times, but with the Herco Control, we've made it simple and easy. Whether you're probing a tool or a part, just like the conversational programming, the Herco probing cycles help to eliminate wasted time and steps so you can get to making money. Let's take a look. In this example, I have manually jogged the probe stylus to the top of my cylindrical part, manually eyeballing where I think center should be. I simply go into part setup, part probing, part zero probe cycles, cylinder, fill out my probing radius, drop down height, and start probing cycle. Once completed, the control asks me whether I want to store that as my current part setup, and it also gives me the diameter. Another example would be setting up the edge of a part. I simply go to part setup, part probing, part zero probe cycles, edge, designate which axes I'm using and which direction I'm going, and start probing cycle. The control asks me if I want to store that edge as my new part zero for that axis. I select yes, and I'm done. So for tool probing, I simply choose tool review, tool setup, verify that I have the tool that I want to probe, select more, and tool probing. First, I want to give an estimate on what the tool length would be, then I select my probing option of length. My default values are all filled in. Then I select probe current tool now and start cycle. After the tool's been probed, my tool length has been added in the field with a P designating that it's been probed. And that's all it takes. So as you can see, if you're a seasoned machinist like myself or a young guy like Charlie, Herco has made it easy to grasp. For more detailed information on part or tool probing, make sure to check out Mike Cope's tutorial in the link below. I'm Bob. And I'm Charlie. See we'll you see next, you next time. time.